We're always talking a lot about some technical and mechanical things on the boiling point. There's actually a lot of math and formulas that are used for different people in the boiler business. That's what we'll be doing today, is we're talking about formulas on the boiling point. Welcome to the boiling point. Uh, I've got Steven Taylor with us again in the rental division. Thought we'd do something a little bit different. I remember working in the rental division and people calling in, they're asking um, for some information, they're giving, giving us a little bit, but we're always trying to figure out what are they actually needing. Yeah. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about formulas. Formulas are something that um, are needed in the boiler industry. I want to talk with some, just some basic formulas first. Uh, somebody calls in, they actually have horsepower. How do you do pounds per hour? How do we get pounds per hour when they give us horsepower? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. It's 34.5 pounds of steam per boiler horsepower. So if they tell us they got 1,000 horsepower, we know that's 34,500 pounds of steam an hour. So you're basically taking horsepower times 34.5 34.5 and that will give you pounds per hour. Pounds per hour. I remember sometimes when people come in or call in they'd say well I have a 30,000 pound an hour load and I would be like okay I need to figure horsepower so how do we do that? Just reverse divide it by 34.5 that gives you the horsepower. Okay so we got our pounds per hour mm -hmm. we divide it by 34.5 and yep. that gives us the horsepower. I know in some, some people's world, they think about uh, BTUs. Yeah. So they'll call in and, and maybe they'll have horsepower. I'm sorry, they'll have uh, uh, the, the, the BTU, yeah. but then we're trying to figure out horsepower. So how yeah. do we do that? Well, they'll, they'll call in and they'll say, uh, I've got a 6 million BTU load, mm -hmm. okay? That 6 million BTU, is that input or output? Well, I don't know. Well, we, we got to figure that out. Okay. But most of the time what they'll do is they'll go to the boiler and they'll look into the 6 million BTU, BTU boilers mm -hmm. input, and so they say, I need, I need 6 million BTU. They really don't know. We don't know either, so we just have to go with, duplicate what they have. Right. So if it's a 6 million BTU input boiler and it's a hot water boiler, that's real easy to figure. If it's a, you know, it's a converter or steam load or whatever they've got, then we've got to do some calculation to see what size boiler they've got. You know, it's 33 million BTU output per boiler horsepower, so that's how we convert the BTU to a, to a boiler horsepower. Okay, so there's a, is, there's a number, yeah. 33,475, if, yeah. if I'm saying yeah. that correct. Yep. And you actually take the BTU, divide it by that constant, which is 33,475, and that gives you the horsepower. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's right. kind of the formula for that one, and, right? And that's the output, not that's, the input. That's, that's for the, the output. output. Right. That's the output. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we move um, to uh, an, another thing that I remember getting a lot of questions. They call in, they need a, a hot water boiler. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, let's say we have a steam load, um, and we need to actually convert steam to hot water. So we're trying to figure out what size heat exchanger right. are they going to need for that. Right. Um, so maybe go over that, that formula for us. Well, uh, if they tell us they've got a, uh, I've got a, a 10 million BTU load uh, for hot water, then we say, okay, what's your, what's your flow rate? Well, I don't know. What, what temperature rise do you have? Uh, it's a 40 degree rise. Okay, so what's your operating temperature? 180 degrees. Okay, so yeah. now I know I've got 140 degree input, 180 degree output, the 10 million BTU loads, I'm gonna back into the flow rate. And you, you, you do that by you know taking that, that 10 million BTU load, okay work into it and you get 8.3 gallons or 8.3 pounds per gallon of water okay. you divide that into the, to the BTU that's going to give you your total gallon flow rate per hour then you you take your delta T which is 40 140 to 180 and and go through that algorithm to give give you the the flow rate that you have to have through the heat exchanger and that's and that's and you're basically trying to size a heat exchanger for that particular job. Right, right, because typically do. what we'll do is we'll use a steam boiler and a heat exchanger as converter to give them the hot water. That way we can take, I can take a 250 horsepower boiler and one heat exchanger and supply a load from 4 million BTU up to 8 million BTU. So I've, it gives me a real wide range to size that heat exchanger for those guys. Okay, um, last thing maybe we talk about, um, you know, people call in and say, hey, my DA's down. Yeah. Um, what are some of the questions that you ask to, to size a DA? What size boiler are you providing? What's your steam load? That's, that's the first thing we want to know. Then we need to know what's your operating pressure. 
so we'll know what, what to size the pump for. Now mm -hmm. I gotta know, okay, how many boilers are you feeding? One, two, three. The other, and then the next thing is, are your feed water valves, is it on off or is it modulating? If it's modulating, I know I can provide my pumps to run all the time. If they have on off and they have multiple boilers, then I have to provide a pump for each boiler, so I have to do some more sizing to make sure they're sized correctly. Okay, so there's sometimes you may have um, one pump, you might have two pumps, yeah. you may have three pumps, may have three pumps. Up, right. you know, even the four. I even mean, the four. Uh, yep. But you're, you're, you're really needing a total uh, load yes. uh, for, for what they need. And then the breakdown of how many bores they have, whether they're on or off or fully modulating, operating pressures, have all, all that criteria as well. Okay. Well, I thought we'd go to school today, so you got a few formulas to use um, you know, in your daily work. Um, this also translates even into the boiler room. Um, so it's not just for the rental boiler when no. they're calling in, it's even yep. for folks that are out there um, in the boiler room. We'll try to have some segments like this uh, going forward and have some different formulas that you can use to help um, just educate yourself and, and when you're calling in and actually asking questions of the rental yep. guys, but also maybe even on your, uh, on your job site. So, Appreciate Steven stopping by, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. We found out today that there's a little bit more in this business than just welders and wrenches and torches. We actually have some math and formulas that are used in this boiler business. If you like this information, make sure you go to our website, check out our blog. We've got all kinds of great information for you to better yourself and educate yourself in this boiler business. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you like our videos, please share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.